Sound check, one, two. I might need more coffee, but. <laughs> to even really say like I've always been competitive you know I've always wanted to win I've always wanted to be a better version of myself and um, I feel like in all aspects of my life I do that I, I, I strive to be a better wife I strive to be a better mother I strive to be a better friend better daughter um, you know motivator you know I love to take what I've done and help other women achieve goals that they never thought they could achieve so I think doing that has helped me throughout my life to help other women. Got to get glammed up. <laughs> <laughs> when I was like, you know, let's let her jump in and work out with us. And, you know, it's one of those things that you always try to kill somebody and see if they're going to come back for more or give up or whatever. But she never gave up. She pushed super hard. And she's, I'll say she trains just as hard as I do. If I could touch your body, I know that everybody so nice. got a body like We do? Me. Thank you. Play a bath. Play a bath. I'm, a, I'm the exact opposite, man. Worst haircut I've had in like 20 years, man. Alright. Really just getting them used to the heavy weight. And then it's kind of a psychological thing as well. I've always done it throughout my whole career. I mean, when I would do like 400 for 20 reps, I would go up to 600 for a single. And then we're going to drop this down to like 165. And hopefully they'll get 25 plus reps with it. It's really, I mean, it's doing a single also, you, there's a lot of benefits to it because you're holding more weight. You're also getting a, uh, your body's getting used to setting up and using that, you know, that line of power. and. If you've never done it, you're never going to be able to go heavy, you know. I mean, like, in the past, you know, when Trish was younger, I mean, I like 350 one time, I was probably her best, you know, legitimately, and, and, we, and we trained the same progression on it. And that's why I, I did it yesterday, and I hurt like hell today. <laughs> Just kind of get that rhythm. You don't even have to lock it all out. I just get down to my position and come up. You know we've always made time for ourselves and you know being healthy and training that's that's like our therapy you know for us coming out to the gym coming out here is time that we get away from you know just our everyday normal crazy stresses and you know we it's our venting time it's our time to just let everything go and it's a therapy session pretty much so I need it yeah it's healthy and it was definitely more hard when you have kids to make the time for yourself but I know that if I don't I'm not gonna feel good, I'm not gonna be happy, I'm gonna be in a bad mood. So I, again, prioritize my day and I get it done in the morning. Like, the earlier the better. Yeah. Because then, I mean, there's every excuse as the day goes on to not not do it. So that's been helpful, helpful to me, is just getting it done earlier in the day. Yeah. <sighs> 
The best thing about being a competitor or being super competitive is that you learn discipline, that you learn, you learn a lot about yourself. Um, you learn where you can push yourself to. You know, you want to win. So it's like you want to do whatever it is and whatever it takes, you reach inside yourself far more than you ever thought you could. I think, and I think it transcends into who you are as a person. You know, it's like if you understand that competitive nature, um, it doesn't matter what aspect it is in life, whether it's being a mom, being a wife, um, being an athlete, being a team player. When you have that competitiveness in you, I think that it, it transcends across all areas of your life. It's a part of your success. Oh yeah. Here we go. Perfect. Great. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we all go through areas of our lives where we're just not motivated or, you know, something happens and you, you take two steps back and you feel like, oh my gosh, how am I ever going to see myself out of that? Um, and with me, it was the will to never let myself be a failure. You know, I didn't grow up with anything. And so I wanted to make sure that no matter what it was that I did, that, um, I mean, just hard work, you know, no matter what it was, I could pull myself out of anything. Um, you know, I was never, there was things that I'm not great at. I had to self-teach myself pretty much everything in the fitness industry, you know, all the strength moves. Um, I did have a cheerleading background and a tumbling background, but I didn't have a gymnastics background. And so some of these girls that I was competitive with were lifelong gymnasts. And so when you have that training from a young age, three to four, and here I didn't have that, I mean, I self-taught myself a back handspring and I think I was in seventh, eighth grade, where most of these girls had that in second grade. Through that, through being self-taught, you know, it just, it, it was one of those things that I'm like, okay, I can, even if I do step back or even if I do, you know, fall into a lull or, you know, have a, a setback or something to that effect, I can overcome that. Um, and just through hard work and, and realizing that you know, every day is a new day, you know, and every day is a new chance to make a new beginning, even if you, you know, you're that much closer to your goal than just giving up. So that's why I never give up, because I never want to go back. You know, I always want to say, you know, here I am stuck, but I can still push myself forward. I just have to just stay consistent. Oh, so that was a very, very fast workout. Yeah, uh, I made it extra hard. <laughs> Not used to. I mean, we're used to going that pace, but for some reason today, I think because we were just doing one squat or three squats, we didn't have a lot of rest time. Yeah. So this one for sure kicked my butt. Gosh, it was hard. Better cardio but, than it is. Yeah, <laughs> we'll definitely be conditioned for that day. Everybody. I am Trish Warren. Welcome to Destination Dallas. This is where I work, so come on, check it out. All right, guys, come on in and check out the chaos. This is the Gas and Better Bodies crew in here. Um, I work in product development, which is helping build new products. Um, over here is our overviews. We look at everything and then we assess and see what do we need to add to our assortment. Um, we then reach out to our community, which is our athletes and you guys that help us to determine what the next style or what the next color or legging, pants, sports bra, what you name it, what do we need? We ask you and then you get it. Anyway, we're always working on new ideas, new designs, new products, new colors. Um, this is a sample that I got of our tie-dye. So when I get a sample in, I look at it and I say, 
You know, is this, a, is this a color that we like? Is this something that we think our community would like? Is this something that they've asked for? Um, from there, I tried on different athletes um, of all different types of body shapes and st uh, sizes. And then if we like it, um, then we send our feedback to the manufacturer and then they produce us a pre-production sample, which would be, then we would get that again and then try it on and make sure that it's good to go. If we don't like it, we send all of our comments back. Um, they make us a, another sample. They send it back to us. We try it on more athletes. We get more feedback. So this is our Rockaway and our Astoria Seamless Top. Once we get the final product in hand and we're extremely happy with everything, it fits good, the athletes love it, then we take it over to the photo room um, and we have our athletes do photos, product photos in it, as well as training, training shots in this. So everything that we have is tested um, for the most part. I do a lot of the testing myself. You guys know I train crazy. So when, the, when this is going through the process of being approved, I will train in these for a week to two weeks just to make sure we will wash them, um, dry them, and make sure that they're gonna hold up to the extreme measures because we want you guys to have products that work, that feel good, and that you love while you're training, and that last. So, um, a big part of my day is gymnastics with Faith. She's here 20 hours a week. Um, right now she's a level five, and she's just excelling really well, so I usually come here and. Um, just watch her and see what all she's doing and all of her new skills that she's getting and support her as much as we can because this is something that I wished I could have done as a kid. We never had the money for it, so now I get to live through her, but she is doing so good. When it comes to Faith and watching her accomplish the things that she's accomplished at such a young age, um, you know, I'll sit out of the gym for three or four days and then I'll go in and I'm just amazed at what she can do. And the, the fact that this child is fearless and that she will try anything and she's so motivated. I remember a time we were getting ready to do a guest appearance and she wanted to perform with me, but she didn't have an aerial. And she was so bound and determined to get this aerial. It didn't matter, I mean, hours and hours and hours to do this thing. She just wouldn't stop doing it. And my friends were like, oh my goodness, like Amanda was performing with me and she couldn't believe the fact that this child is gonna get this thing. And you know, she would, half the time she would fall, half the time she would get it. But when she, this is what I love about her and this is what inspires me, is when she is under pressure, she can turn it on. And we went out there and we did that performance and she rocked that aerial on stage in front of everybody at the show that night. And I mean, it just blew me away because that's one thing that I feel like I don't have as much as she or Branch has. Um, I can practice all day long and I can, you know, perform, you know, when it's just me in the room. But sometimes when you get in front of somebody that's judging you, um, or in front of a huge crowd, you know, those like nervous, you know, like the nervousness or whatever of that, like sometimes it'll, it, it like overwhelms me. And I think everybody deals with that, but some people have the ability to, once you get to that environment, they can just turn it on and shut everything off and they perform amazing. Under pressure, that's when you really need to be able to be your best. Um, I'm not saying that I can't do that, because that's a learning thing, something that I have to learn within myself, but it's it's definitely something that I'm very appreciative that, you know, Faith has. You know, I think if you love something and you truly want to have like a successful life, you'll find a way to make everything happen. Um, I'm super busy from the time I wake up until the time I go to bed, but it's doing things that I love to do. And so, like Branch always says, you never work a day in your life if you love what you do. And I love what we do. And, you know, bringing that on to Faith, being nine years old and doing 20 hours of gymnastics a week, along with school and having just a normal life um, outside of that, it's incredible. And, you know, I think that's something that we have instilled in her. And I think that, um, you know, it'll be something that she'll be successful throughout the rest of her life because she's done that. So, you know, you, uh, you make time for it if you, if you want it bad enough, I guess. <laughs>